So I heard you want to learn English. Well, I think you can follow the right place. Hello everyone, welcome back to the English with Karen. And in this video, I will give you what I think is an excellent plan that will help you learn English. Well, welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you what I think are the best way to learn English in the year 2023. If this is your first time here, thought, don't forget to click that right subscribe button below and that to give me a thumbs up if this video is helping you learn English. Before we get started, thought, before I shared the plan with you. There's a few things that you are going to need. You are going to need about one hour a day, Monday to Friday, in order to use an English learning plan. If you don't have an hour a day thought, you can use 30 minutes. Just make sure that you use the majority of the time. For the things that I recommend for the day, the other thing you are going to need is a notebook and a pen. And you are going to need to choose an English song, an English to read a book, and an English television show. If you have all those things, I think you will be ready. Uh, you also need an internet connection, which I am pretty sure you have because you are watching this video yet. When you are learning a language like English, it's important that you spend on a lot of a time reading, writing, listening, speaking, and learning new vocabulary. The way this plane works is I am going to ask you to do those five things each day of the week, Monday to Friday. So, on Monday is the fourth day of the week. I want you to focus on reading in English. I want you to read the book that you have chosen. And if you are having a little trouble understanding the book, if you can get the book in your own language as well. You can read one chapter in English and then read the next chapter in your own language and flip back and forth. That is a great strategy on Mondays as well. I want you to read the news uh, in English, so if you have a news app on your phone, or can access the news on a website. Please uh, read the news in English on Mondays as well. And the third thing I would like you to do on Mondays is to go to a website called Simple Wikipedia. Simple Wikipedia is the English language version of the Wikipedia, but in a simple form so there's the regular wikipedia but there is a simple wikipedia which helps people who are learning english to read and understanding the articles better so i don't like you to do three things for about 30 to 40 minutes while you are doing those things you should be writing new vocabulary words into your notebook along with a short definitions of them once you are done all that i want you to use the rest of your time practice your writing to uh, practice your listening and to practice your speaking so reading on monday takes most of the time but the other three components will take a small amount of time but i want you to attend them your reading so uh, to practice your English speaking, I want you to read part of your book out loud just to yourself. If you are writing on Monday, I want you to write out a few passages from the book. And to practice your listening, it would be really cool if you could find the audio version of the book you are reading and a listening and a listening to it a bit. So that is Monday. On Mondays, your focus is a reading spent to 30 to 40 minutes a reading. And then the rest of your time practice the other aspects of learning the language but in a way that is still related to the book you are reading. 
And Tuesday, your focus will be writing. I want you to spend 30 to 40 minutes writing in English. The first thing you should do is write in your notebook. You should write down five things that you did the day before so that you can practice writing in the past tense. You should also write down five things that you are going to do the next day so that you can practice writing in the future tense. You should also go to youtube and leave a few comments in english on a few uh, videos this is a really good way to practice your english as well many times if you leave a comment on an english video someone will respond sometimes even the creator so go you to youtube and write a few comments to some of your favorite youtube creator it doesn't all have to be me by the way you can write comments on other videos as well the next thing i would like you to do is go back to your notebook and write down a few things that you are like and dislike about the book you are reading this is a really good way for you to start to express your likes and your dislikes it's a very good thing to learn to uh, be able to do you should also in your notebook try to write about five to ten sentences in english that summarize the book you are reading or uh, summarize what you have just uh, read and the book that you are reading so do all that while you are doing it i know you are writing but you might have to look up new words to use make sure you put those words in your notebook as well hopefully you have a little vocabulary session that you are building where you put a few words in on monday and now it's tuesday you put a few more words in so tuesday is writing your your spend 30 to 40 minutes writing now it's time to practice a little of reading so read over the thing that you are wrote it's in time to practice a little bit of listening so maybe put some of your comments into google translate and click the little speaker button so you can hear what your english sentences sound like out loud and then certainly uh, read your english sentences out uh, loud in your own voice so that you can practice a little bit of speaking i forgot to mention this about uh, mondays uh, but if you are done the work of the day on monday if you are done your reading on tuesday now if you are done your writing is on the balance of time doing a little of the lingo maybe just listening to the sound that you choose because the sound you choose should be something that you are just listening to the uh, out the week Anyways, that was Tuesday where your focus was right. On a Wednesday, I want you to focus on listening this magazine and uh, being your favorite day to study English. If you use this plan, I want you to watch your television show in English. I want you to listen to your song a few times in English. I think you should watch a few YouTube videos in English. And if you do, have the audio book for the book you are reading i want you to listen to a few chapters from the audio book this should be a great day because uh, most of these listening activities will fill your hour but at the end of the hour if you still want to do a bit of work there's a few things that you could do you could read a little bit about the television show that that you are watching you could write a little bit about the television show you are watching uh, you could write about how song make you feel uh, you could say some of the same lines as people in the television show you could uh, shadow or uh, mimic what the actors are saying this is a great uh, way to work on your accent and you could uh, sing along to the song that's a uh, great thing 
to do as well and all and of course you, during all of this you should still be adding words to your notebook a new vocabulary words that you are learning as you watch your show listen to your song and do the other listening activi activities on thursday i want you to focus on speaking so for the one hour that you start the english on thursday 30 to 40 minutes of that hour you should be spending speaking english the best way to practice speaking english is to hire an english tutor who you can meet via facetime or skype if you have a money and you can afford it this is a money well spent it is really really good investment the fact that you know you will be taking talking a native english speaker every thursday will actually make you work harder on monday tuesday and wednesday and friday each week in order to get ready for the sessions when you do a talk to a native english speaker talk about the television shows that you are talking about the book that you are reading you'll have a lot of things that you can share with them in an english conversation if you cannot afford to hire someone you still need to speak english on thursdays you can just talk out aloud to yourself you can narrate of your life i did an other video where i explained a few of those things i'll put a link up there put uh, certainly on thursday do whatever you can to get in 30 minutes of speaking in english the uh, rest of the time on thursday you can do whatever you need to do maybe listen to your song again and sing that's also speaking a uh, read uh, your book but i uh, read it out a lot that's also speaking a uh, watch your tv show and kind of again shadow or mimic some of your favorite actors anyway thursday is the day that you should be speaking in english a lot on Sundays, i want you to focus on vocabulary on a uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday uh, you wrote down a uh, new words and their definitions in your notebook hopefully you were doing that on friday i want you to read over all of the new words i want you to say them out loud i want you to use the new words in a sentence and i want you to just practice them uh, till you have them memorized if you are familiar with website like quizlet make a quizlet uh, set using all of your new words and practice it and practice it over and over again if you are more comfortable making a flashcard or simply writing the vocabulary at many many times do that instead but friday you should just be spending all of your time the entire uh, making sure that you all of your new vocabulary memorized i think you'll really uh, benefit from this uh, one so you just spend a monday third friday learning english what do you do on the weekend well there's a few things that you should do on the weekend to make this english learning plan really work you should find a new song very weekend you should look for a new english song that you can use in the following week if you are done reading your book you should go to the library or order a new english book online or borrow one from a friend if you are done watching all of the episodes of television shows you were watching you should get a new television shows to watch i will find a new television shows to watch or you could just take a break sometimes taking a break from learning actually refresh your mind and make you better better able to learn the next week anyways i hope you like this plan uh, but but yes i am karen with gk word you are learning english with me thank you so much for watching if you are new here don't forget to click with subscribe button as click that and give me a thumbs up